Hi, I'm here with Dmitry Buterin. Oh my god! Hey guys. I'm so lucky to take an interview with you. You know, every time I'm at the Ethereum conference, uh, it gives me so much confidence in uh, where the community is going because it's such a diverse community with so much stuff going on. Because, you know, in the daily life, you look at this, there's this problem, there's this scammy ICO, whatever. But when you're at the conference, you talk to all these people, they're all around the world, they all moving this forward, right? And that's kind of, it's basically, they build a decentralized technology in a decentralized way. So that some people in Taipei building a protocol, people in Berlin, whatever. So yeah, it's always uh, really, it feels really good. It gives me a lot of confidence, right? And the conference is twice as big as last year. Wow! And uh, they could have, and it could have been easily like 5,000 people because right. they just capped it at this. They didn't want to make sold it out big. six months ago, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, my lifestyle is changing because for the last 11 years I've been running a software company and uh, I recently sold it, so that's kind of transition out of that to focus primarily on uh, the blockchain crypto space. But in general, uh, I like to get up early, a uh, big believer in uh, having the morning for focus time and, you know, I usually get up, meditate, you know, do some other stuff. Yeah, and uh, then early in the office doing some stuff and uh, I always try to be home at night, you know, for dinner with kids and uh, I like a uh, big believer in balance, right? Because I feel that when we always run between different things, uh, we're not as effective when we can focus on one thing. So right now I'm just doing this and right now I'm doing something else and maybe not doing anything. Lots of good speakers. Uh, Vitalik is, uh, was a good speaker. I'm biased, obviously, but great guys like Jack Patterson did a good presentation today about some of their things to build in the ecosystem. I like all the panels, so you really it's hard to pick. Yeah, and uh, a lot of uh, really dense content, right? So like Vlad Zamfir was doing the presentation, and it's like you have to watch it at like quarter speed to really follow what he's talking about because there's so much information. So yeah, it's uh, a lot of good learning. And, you know, as you can see, uh, many people are spending time outside of the conference hall yeah. because there are so many meetings happening right. and people are talking about business deals, ICOs, projects, you know, exchanging experience. Yeah. It feels awesome. I'm really proud of him. And, uh, you know, mo I'm most proud of he's obviously he's extremely smart. But the reason that he's uh, a leader of this community is because people uh, believe his intentions right so I know that he's a good person and that's kind of I'm most proud of that you know he has that because when you have that and you can achieve so much versus you like you can be a very ambitious person but if you're acting out of fear and you're kind of trying to get it all for yourself right so he's changing the world basically yeah he is and uh, it's uh, well not by himself but you know he started right. with this idea right and then again he put it out in the open and the people gathered around him and uh, this huge community now exists they all moving this forward and uh, he's in the really important part of this community yeah no it was pretty clear from a very early age uh, i can show you a picture actually after this uh, when his first computer i think we got him when he was like three years old or something and he loved playing with excel like doing some basic calculations and stuff like that and uh uh, so, and we were just, I think that all the kids, they have so much potential, right? If you just feed them the right material that, you know, maintain, maintain their curiosity and give them a way, which is also fun, right? Because when you kind of try to push it too much, but, you know, for example, when uh, he was studying programming and uh, one of their places, so we sent him was it's called Real Programming for Kids. So the way they teach kids programming, it's not like uh, this dry lecturing, but it's like, okay, now let's build a game, right? And he was excited about that because building a game is cool and, you know, you learn so much by actually doing stuff. Yeah, so kind of watching that was uh, amazing. Yeah. We are very proud of your family. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah.